Good morning, we're continuing to look of, at Jesus' letter to the church of Smyrna and he continues to say to them in verse 10, do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested and you will have trouble for a number of days. And Jesus warns them against a great danger in the Christian life and that is fear. He says so often, do not fear. In the Gospels, Jesus said, do not fear those who can kill the body and after that can do nothing else. Instead, fear God. Fear is a great enemy of the Christian. It is the opposite of faith and peace and trust. Fear comes into all of our lives and we have to deal with it. But we need to hear Jesus saying, do not fear the things you're about to suffer. Some of the things that we suffer in this life, they're bad enough without the fear. There's no point in a Christian adding fear to the suffering that will come to them. That only adds to it. Jesus said, do not fear the things you're about to suffer. Sometimes when we go through periods of suffering, testing, trial, which come to everybody, we can fear that God has left us. That's just not true. Sometimes we wrongly think that if we walk with God and if we're Christians and we're believers, then we'll never have any trouble or suffering. That's just not true. When the Apostle Paul preached and started the early churches in Acts, you'll see that he trained the new believers. He went back and encouraged the brand new believers and he encouraged them with these very interesting words. He says, we must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. That's what he told the new believers. He told them, God is with you, you're forgiven, you're blessed forevermore, expect trouble. If we don't expect trouble, then it takes us by surprise and that just adds to the cruelty of it. Peter wrote to the early church and said, do not be surprised at the fiery trial you're suffering as though something strange were happening to you, you know we were destined for these very things. You know, Christians are destined for many wonderful things, heaven, eternal life, the resurrection from the dead. We're destined to see other people come to know Jesus and see miracles in our lives. We're also destined for a certain amount of trouble, suffering, testing and affliction. We're not in heaven yet, brothers and sisters, even if you're experiencing some heaven on earth, it's heaven on earth. And in this world, Jesus said, you will have trouble. But listen, Jesus says, do not fear it. Don't fear going through that illness or that hospital door because I will be with you. Do not fear when everyone is leaving you and rejecting you because I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Do not fear when those who support you turn away from you and you feel you'll be bankrupt and have nothing left in the bank because I am the Lord who provides for you and I've never failed anyone yet. Do not fear the things you're about to suffer, brothers and sisters. Don't fear that God's left you. He hasn't. It says in Hebrews that the proof that you are a genuine child of God is that you will go through times of discipline, training, tests, trials, problems. And as you go through them, they train you and make you stronger as you trust God. Do not fear the things you're about to suffer. Even if you were to be thrown into prison, like the church in Smyrna, some of the believers there, Jesus will be with you in prison and will bring you out again. Jesus will shine through your life no matter what the devil throws at you. Sometimes the evil comes from the devil, but it doesn't mean that God isn't ultimately in control of your life. Fear not. Jesus loves you. Lord Jesus, thank you for your encouragement not to be afraid of the things we suffer. Even when the suffering is unavoidable and we're not going round it or turning back from it, but we're going through it. Thank you that we go through it hand in hand with a saviour who suffered himself and who lifts and carries us through at every moment. Help us, Jesus, 
Take away the fear that we can embrace every day and every situation, knowing that God is with us through it all. Amen.